Hi automotive students. Today we're going to take some of what we've learned uh, in class and apply it to a motorcycle. Hopefully we're going to look at the valve adjustment on this BMW K1600. Uh, a lot of noise in the background. Uh, we've had some sub-zero weather here so uh, in order to make it kind of warm here in my little garage I've got two heaters running. One of them is pretty noisy. Now I'm also trying out the, a new remote mic so hopefully you'll hear more me than uh, the background noise so we'll see if it doesn't work out then i guess i'll have to dub the audio in later uh, we're going to go ahead and remove the panels from here to gain access to the parts that we need uh, some folks call this tupperware uh, i don't care what you call it it's a bunch of plastic needs to come off so first thing we're going to need to remove this part right here now this part I've got two screws, so I have to open up the little compartment here. I've got a screw here, and then I've got this screw down here. Don't worry about this one inside here. I also have a screw coming up from the underside here. So I'll go ahead and buzz these three out, and uh, then we'll remove this panel. Now, just a, a note here, these screws are going to be a little bit shorter than the ones we remove for the rest of our clothing here or panel. Okay, so there's these three screws and again they are shorter than the others that we're going to be removing next. Okay, this panel should slide off now, I'm going to have to hook him like that, because it has this kind of hook right here. So again, when you remove that, you need to kind of flip it up there to get that hook disengaged. Alright, next thing we need to remove is my driving light, this LED. Okay, so there's two screws come up from underneath here that I'll need to loosen so that I can pull it off this post. Also there's a connector it comes in from the back side. In order to remove that I need to get to it here, a little screwdriver to re release the clip. So we'll try and show you that. Okay, there's a screw and one right behind it. So I've got these two screws that I need to loosen. That way I can slide him out of here. Now, right here there's an opening, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to just take a little pocket screw drive there uh, and I am going to hopefully move that lock just far enough that I can remove the uh, connector that goes in back here. Okay, there's the wire and then our connector goes inside there. A little bit fuzzy. There's the connector. Okay, so that's what I'm going to try to do next. There we go. Now, I've got the screwdriver in there and I can feel this little retaining clip here. Uh, it's plastic, so don't try to push it too hard. You'll break the connector. So by pushing the screwdriver up, I'm going to kind of lower the connector and if all goes well, there it goes. So I've got him removed. Next thing, I need to get up and loosen these screws up from behind here. Now be careful. You're working at a little bit of an angle. So don't strip these Torx bits. Otherwise, I don't know what you'd do. You'd have to get up there with a drill and drill it crooked. There we go. I've got him loose. Oh, he's loose enough. All right. Okay, I'll just put him out of the way. Now, I also have a screw that I need to remove right here. Okay, so this is the screw. I need to pull this cover out of the way too. So let me just get him out. All right, now, 
you need to kind of just maneuver this around carefully. There we go. And then pull the wire through there. Now be careful when you work with these. I've got tabs. Come on, focus. It's trying to. All right, two tabs here, one there that hook into this panel here. So don't use any brute force or you break them off and then the thing will be crooked on you. Okay, now with this removed, I have a screw there that I have to pull out so that I can pull this panel off. Okay, this big panel has got to come off next. Now, let me go ahead and just show you the difference between the, the two screws I was talking about. The short one, again, these were for the panel that came off from around your little glove box there. Oops, sorry. The longer one, it's pretty much the ones we'll be working with uh, on all of the rest of the covers. Okay, now, I need to pull this panel off. Let me zoom back here a little bit. So, I've got two screws under here that need to come out. Uh, I've got then screws coming from the inside here. So I'm going to have to pull a screw out here and a screw there. And Feed that wire through there. And it's just kind of a post going through a rubber grommet clear up at the top here. Uh, let's see, move you up a little bit. There we go. So right up there. So I kind of have to pull him down out of the rubber grommet. And this panel's off. All right, I need to pull this cover off. So there's a screw here and a screw up here. This covers a radiator hose. Got that piece removed. All right, before we get to the radiator, we need to pull this panel, okay? Now, for this panel, I've got two screws. I've got one screw right here, another screw right here. Now, I need to open this deflector because I've got another screw right down through the top here. Uh, and then I've got some here by my lights, okay? So, let's see if we can pull this thing out of here. Alright, now, I've got a screw here, and then one back here to remove, and that should be it. Alright, there that is.